Just, uh, I don't know where my wallet is. I was going to say, I know you don't have it because I wouldn't see it today. We'd both be calling in sick <laughs> if we had a $100,000, $900,000 payday. But somebody's going to get rich if they can just find the ticket. I mean, I can see, you know, like a, there's probably some of those that are like a dollar or $5 winners or something yeah. like that. I'm not diminishing that. I'm just saying that those might be easy to overlook. But Right. 900 you know, grand is 900 grand. Yeah. I mean, I think if you're playing that game, you're probably paying a little more attention yeah. to the ticket. Somebody hasn't yet. But again, they have until next week to figure it out. Yeah. How Maybe about the weather? The last second. Wouldn't you want to be that? Uh, I yes. just was holding on to it. Yeah. You know? Oh, well, look at that. Uh, weather today, not too bad, right? We had some rain this morning. It's going to clear out and actually uh, be cloudy. And we might actually see some stars tonight. You can uh, see some clearing. It's going to be amazing. And tomorrow, we could have a little bit of clearing, too, before the clouds roll back in and we get some more sunshine. But uh, certainly uh, over the next 24 hours, it's not going to be too bad in the northwest. Right now in Seattle, we're taking a look at 46 degrees. Some spots still seeing some showers. Winds out of the east northeast around 9 miles an hour at this point. So today's forecast, we have decreasing showers as the day goes on. They'll stay lingering a little bit in the South Puget Sound region, mostly cloudy at 5 and then partly cloudy at 10 p.m. So there'll still be some clouds in the sky, but it'll be amazing. We might actually see some stars and things like that. 47 degrees right now in Anacortes through the next couple of hours. You can see it does clear out. It looks like a nice evening there for those folks up north. Daily Almanac for SeaTac 56 is what we hit yesterday. The average high is 49. Our record back in 1958 when it hit 57 degrees, so almost a record breaker yesterday. The countdown to winter is on. It's continuing, as you know, 19 days. December 21st is when we will have our first day of winter. And the snow levels, you can see earlier in this week, remember with all of that rain, we had snow levels up near eight, 9,000 feet, but take a look today at 4,000. But then as we head into the weekend, we will see some snow into the mountains, which is a good thing. The snow accumulation, this is for Saturday alone. We're going to see snow nine inches at Snoqualmie Pass, 10 inches at Crystal Mountain. How about 14 inches at White Pass? So we are going to start seeing some more snow in the mountains. Here's a look at our radar over the last couple of hours, and you can see the showers have started to uh, move off into the eastern foothills communities. There's still a few stray showers here and there, and then we have a little bit of a break before this next system moves back in. So we'll take a look at our future cast here that's going to show when that next system does move its way back in <clears throat> by 630 this evening. You can see even clear skies north of Everett. Still some clouds and some spotty showers in the South Puget Sound and on the Kitsap Peninsula. But by tomorrow at 7 a.m., actually a great commute here. Not it's going to be dry. We're just going to see some cloudy conditions and then as we advance the model until 7 o'clock tomorrow. You can see it's going to be a pretty cloudy evening. And then by the time we get to Saturday, yeah, this is what's going to happen. We're going to see some showers again moving back into the area and some pretty heavy rain at time too. So decreasing rain today, some PM clearing, a high of 51, although we've already hit that. We're about five or six degrees cooler than that right now. We had our 51 high temperature early on in the day, partly sunny and rain late in the day on Friday, rain to showers on Saturday. But look at those temperatures hovering into the mid 40s, Steve. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, Stephen.